Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and we are going to do the um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge and I'm going to continue on from what I was doing yesterday and it's going to be those hinged journaling spots. So we're making hinged journaling spots. So I'm going to start off with, um, I'm going to put my timer on just a minute. Okay, because I do it in 45 minutes because I just want to give myself a little challenge. It's only for fun. It's not obligatory. Um, so I'm going to, you know how we normally do our pages this way. I'm going to put, I probably only need three. I'm going to do them long ways because I quite like this to cut them down. It was quite a good way to cut them down. So the first job is going to be to do, it's going to have to be quick, is a quick collage. A quick, um, you know, masterboard collage we're going to do. When I say quick, I'm going to go as fast as I can. So that way I can. So this is, I'm including this in the challenge is the master board. So I think I need to do three, three pieces to get somewhere. And I'm not going to be, try not to be too much of a fuss pot about what I put down, I think. So I might tear this one. I'm just going to randomly stick them down and see what happens without thinking about it too much. And I'll be using a mix of papers, not just Steph's latest one. So maybe let's hope 15 minutes of collaging, if I can get myself organized. I'm working in a big mess because I've been um, painting bits and pieces uh, all morning. Oh no, I had to do some other stuff as well. And so, um, I haven't tidied up. I was going to come in here and tidy up. i put that there. And then what will we grab? A piece of this. I said I wasn't going to be fussy, didn't I? Ha! Huh? That's a funny one. That could go there. Why not? So again, always a great way to use up your scraps, which is always what we like doing. And how is everybody today? I haven't asked you that yet, have I? Oh, that's a, a tag. Put that in there. I don't want that one. Maybe this one. We'll put this one. I think I'll put that there. Hope you're all well and you had a lovely weekend. I ended up being a little bit busy. The weather's lovely outside. It's a little bit, you know, it's cool. It's cool for this time of the year, but I am very happy about that. I am not complaining because um, you know how hot summer gets here. It gets, it's pretty hot. So I am quite happy that it's in the low, it's in the I don't actually know what the temperature is today. I think I'll put that there. Um, it might be in the teens, the high teens possibly. I'm not sure. I didn't actually look this morning. I forgot. Sort of hit the ground running when I got out of bed. So i um, been doing stuff all day. So here we go. Just trying to lay down larger pieces and then you can come in with smaller pieces as a detail if you want to. I'm going to just cut that off. I'll put that one there. So we're getting through this fairly quickly, I think. Me thinks. Fold that over. I just really enjoyed that revelation yesterday when um, I had cut those pieces and glued them and I left them attached and put the fabric. I just really enjoyed I just To me, that's just fun, 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 fun. Right, can we put this piece here somewhere? Somewhere, yes. And it's always fun to collage. Always fun. Well, it is for me. Um, I hope it's fun for everybody. I find it fun. I know Gail finds it fun. It's like her favourite thing. And uh, where shall we put this one? Put it there. I'm not meant to be taking too long. Oh, what about some more book page? Right, we've got this piece as well. That piece. 
these can go somewhere but they're not it's not quite big enough I didn't want to have to um, you know then put another piece and I've got this one would be quite nice there actually let me just I'll just cut that off and I just need to get that little white bit off there just pull it backwards that way and off it comes Okay. Okay, let's see over here in the pile what other things we can use. If I delve down deeper in my... Oh, wait, I had those all clipped together. That's a good... They're good. Oh, here we go. Look at all of these. These are all clipped and then... There's the, oh, they're the painted ones. And then these, this is what I'm looking for, I think. We'll have some of these. Some of these clipped ones. Let's see. We've used that. Oh, no, we didn't use that one. We've used that one, and we haven't used that one. So I think we might like a little bit of something bright there. So if I just tear about here, roundabout, it's a roundabout sort of business. Okay, chuck that over there. And these are what these papers are for, collaging. Gosh, they're noisy upstairs. I think they've got a visitor. I think that's why they're making so much noise. Chuck that over there. That one can overlap. That's just fine. Like so. Oh, I like that. It's looking good to me. Right, now we can move along here. And I might just, oh, I don't like having my glue. I don't ha like having my glue book on camera. It's a bit, it's a bit dicey, the situation. So let's put this one here. Okay, and I'm going to grab maybe this. this not, it looks the same, but it's not the same dictionary. It's another one. I'm going to grab that one. And... I think I'm going to glue it right across there. I did check what was underneath before I ripped it off. under there is that oh, what is it and no, it's on the other side so I can get it off in a minute okay and then it's going to be cut up so I don't need to be too concerned about what I've got over here if I've already got it because I'm going to be cutting it so I can I'm going to put that one Maybe there. I think I have a little gap there and I can put a little scrap in there. I did say I wanted to get this done in about 15 minutes so I did not muck about too much and I think I'll slip that one in there so different different way different direction I'm, I'm gluing today I'm going long ways and not having my pages up vertically I'm doing them horizontally might and then I might slip something there but let's just get some more happening over here going to glue that one right there I'm 
so if you get do your master board before you put your video on then you'll get more done but if you're doing your master board well no the master board can be part of it because it is part of it really isn't it and then we'll have a bit more of this I think I'll put that there. Oh, there's, you know, there's glue everywhere. I don't know how I get my glue pages become gluey straight away. I'm a very vigorous glue. I obviously just glue right off the paper that I'm sticking down. That one there. And I was going to put this, maybe I can tidy up this one. Put that there. And have there, I think. To slide my chair a bit back it gets a bit squeaky um because it's it's a, i think they're faux leather i don't think they're actual leather chairs but they're very nice that steph got us much more comfortable than what i was sitting on before I have less back pain and um but it does squeak on the on the desk i don't want that paper I've already got that one. Let's use up this piece and then work our way around it somehow. Because it's been flying around the table for quite some time, so it just needs to find a home, I think. It's a bit all bit the same colour. I do have that one. I'm just going to take that edge off and I'm going to glue that one there. I don't know if you can see if I'm on screen or off screen over there, but you will, I, I'm just crashing into everything, that's what it is. going to go there I like that and then I can have little bits to finish it off oh the dogs are going for you all there they are just in case you thought they weren't about anymore there they are put that one there And this little piece, I think, will go up there. Take that bit off. Okay, so we've got our collaging done. Oh, yes, it only took 14 minutes. How about that? 14 minis. I'm just going to put that up there. I'll just fold that one over there. Okay, so now it's ready to cut. I'm going to cut it now. And I'm organised today. I brought my cutter. My little cutter, I should say. So, I'll just trim that off. I'll just slide it in that way because it's easier. Okay, we'll start on this side. So, already there, I'm going to cut a, a bigger tag and then a smaller tag. So they will go together so I'm going to do them all well you could do them you could do them journal card if you wanted to um, you could do them journal cards um, or no I might I might switch them no they're similar um, you could do them as journal cards or or as tags or both 
smaller one there and we'll have a bigger one and the smaller one and I might just trim that edge off there okay so these are our pieces and then we need to grab whatever paper we decide upon to join them together so we've got four let's see if we can get four finished so the first paper I'm going to use is this one I think isn't that lovely so we'll put this one on here these two and it doesn't matter you can put them this way that can be the front. If you put them that way, one that one, leave a gap. We're leaving a um, half a centimetre gap, quarter of an inch probably. Um, and, and we're going to glue them to this and then cut it out. But we'll do all the gluing first. Glue. We'll do all the gluing first and then... So I'm putting my glue, I should show you, I'm putting my glue on the back of my journal card that I've cut out. And I'm going to glue that to my backing, which is my writing side. Here. Oh, I like doing these things. It's fun. Okay, and then I'll glue this one. So make sure you're gluing them both, you know, the same. Which if they've got a direction, you know, the up is the up and the bottom is the bottom for both of them. You don't want them popping up. Leave a gap. Okay, that's the first two. We'll put those over there. Now I'll grab another background sort of paper. So you want to use your, you could use tea dyed paper. You could use avocado dyed paper. What other, I've got more backing papers. Let's use some of these collage papers. You could use, if you, um, oh, this is a nice one. Um, you could use, uh, did I say avocado dyed paper? Straw paper, whatever you like. Come on, out you come. We don't have time to muck around. In fact, I can do these. Will I do them that way? Yes, because then I... So I'm going to have... Um, this time I'm switching it around. So that... So it's going to be the opposite direction, if you know what I mean. So let's just get rid of that piece of paper and glue these down. Go as fast as we can. We'd like to get them finished. What fun. I hope I remember this. I always do these things and then I don't remember. A little bit down the track. That's looking a bit crooked there. A little bit way down the track I've already forgotten. Good thing they're on video. And you can go back and have a look. And that's that one. Yep, I'm just eyeballing it about half a half a centimetre, quarter of an inch, as I said. Grab another piece of something. Oh, let's use this one. I haven't been putting these papers away, as you can see, because I've been wanting to use them, and I put it around that way, and these are going to go here like this so yeah you can mix your pieces up like I've got the pieces that were next to each other on the on the um, master board um, and so it's kind of like the I cut the image up but it's going to continue around um, it's going to continue around to the back although that probably be covered by fabric anyway but or you can mix them up you can cut them and then and mix so that's not the two pieces that were together before. They can be mixed. That could be interesting as well. Okay, leave our heart, our thing. And I might, I'll trim them down, I think, properly with the um, cutter. And now I'm going to use one of Steph's background pages. I think I'll use this one. Yeah, that's really nice. And this one I'm going to put like this. I need... Okay, nothing gross under there. Now I didn't bring any fabric over, but I'm sure I've got something flying around that I can use. You might want to do that. So 
So that's all four of them. So I got four out of these, um, three of these pages. Um, done horizontally rather than, you know, laying them horizontally rather than vertically. Just going to pull that off. Very lot of glue on there. Okay, and I'll wipe my fingers because I'm very sticky. Right. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly trim here. And then I think I'll use my cutter. I think the cutters, and they do curl a bit, as you might have noticed, but they will flatten out afterwards. Put that over there. Just trim off the excess. Okay, and then this one. all over there okay so let's get the cutter where is it here don't have to do this but I think I want it to be a little bit straight So I've got my gap there, and the reason I'm I'm liking the gap, I like the idea of the gap, is that, as I said yesterday, then it's not too bulky. So I like that idea. Okay, love these. And you could, I guess, you could um, also stick fabric I mean we are sticking fabric I think but you could also do paper if you wanted to do like a paper here and if you were to do paper or well, even with fabric but especially with paper you could these could also just become something that you stitch into a signature which would also be fun you could make them a bit bigger and they could become fun different journal pages something different to to the norm okay so that's that now let's see what fabric we have floating around well, I have this, but I don't think this is not this is not going to be. Oh, is it? No, it's not long enough. That would have been nice. Okay, let me see. I did have some more. I think of that one. I think I use. I love this. The edging of the. This is and it's a quite a good width. I think. It's the edging of the um, pillow sham. Just make sure all the stitches are out. So I can probably get two out of that one. That can go there. So I'll just trim it. Oh, I don't think I can get to. It's not wide enough, long enough. Okay, so we'll do one. And I'm just going to run my Giotto glue. Maybe I'll run it on my fabric, I think, today. I did run it down there yesterday, but I think I can, uh, I won't have glue everywhere if I just put it on my fabric. Now this is a Giotto glue stick and it does glue fabric down very well. Um, not on that packaging, but on the other packaging that I've had before it said glues fabric, which is why I started trying it. So that's one. And then the other thing we do, I haven't folded them yet. Just I'm going to snip my corners. You could round them, but I like I like the lately I've been liking just the little snip. And then just give it a little fold. Oh, I love it. Look at that. So cool. And it could be a really cool, like if you had this little journal, I mean if you do them bigger, you can have a big journal. Um 
like you know first instead of using like cardstock or something like that for your um, signature first page you could use this could be cool okay so let's find a fabric for that one it doesn't have to be white fabric actually I've got this linen here why don't I put that on there why can't I put a piece of that there is that quite long enough no not that way I'd have to go this way just a minute oh, oh, oh knocking my light now that's thick that's a hemp that one's thick this is thin oh I like that for stitching that one's not even long enough anyway um you could stick a lace if you had a lace anything will do really anything will do here we go let's see this one so I put them in there I'm not throwing them out I'm just putting them in there. I would like to use this on one so let's see these scissors don't really really cut can I rip it nope they don't really cut fabric those days have long gone I think they were some of my first scissors I had for fabric and now they don't work anymore I could sharpen them but you know that's just that's a lot of effort to sharpen them and I'm going to trim that off there okay so let's put some glue on here the glue oh look at that blob of glue I got there put it on the paper okay so just glue that there and then of course when it dries you can um and you can even though i've covered up where the um crease was like where the space was you can feel it's quite soft there it folds it just naturally folds it i love that so we'll snip our corners off i might just snip them into my basket there so that way they're automatically gone Okay, so that's that one. Now we've got this one here. We won't use, we'll just use different things. Different things. What else do I have? See, I have this basket of random things here, but um, uh, I haven't, because I haven't put them away. That's why. That's why they're there. Oh, we could use a piece of this. This is good. Might use this for the next two. This is just cheesecloth dyed cheesecloth oh what's this oh no that's printed stuff so i've got some cheesecloth here this the only thing is this is a little bit harder to cut straight i'll just do it straightish so that will go there and i'll cut another one for the other one and then we'll be done now I won't be able to put my glue on here. I have to put it onto the thing. So it might I might put more glue on than what I need. Chuck that over there. Okay. So we need to get a bit of glue on here. Gosh, time flies when you're having fun. Really does. Okay, put my glue on there and let's hope I didn't go too far beyond. A bit sticky. I'm just gonna, um, because I've got more glue on this side than the other side, I'm actually gonna just slide it over a little bit. So that's the hazard of the cheesecloth is that I'm putting my glue on here and I've gone beyond. That'll do. Okay, trim that bit off. Not those scissors, these scissors. Otherwise, they won't cut fabric anymore, will they? Let's see how they just naturally fold where there was no paper. That's that one. And then this one. I'll just lean my glue on the side like that. 
and hopefully I won't go too far beyond my cheesecloth. Okay, that's better. Did a better job that time. No, they're not going to cut. Okay, put the, I have to move my fabric scissors right out of my line of sight because otherwise, um, otherwise uh, I just pick them up for paper and then if you start cutting with your good scissors the paper, they don't, then they don't cut fabric anymore. Okay. And so you can see a little shadow here of the lighter colour where the, there is no um, paper, but it's only once you, with the cheesecloth, but you really can't see it. Like you can't, if you didn't know that it was, there wasn't paper there, you wouldn't really know. You wouldn't notice it. Okay. So next job is to put our tab on. Because I like the tabs. Let's see what we've got. Hopefully I don't take too long to decide. I think I like it on that side. That will go on one. And they do or don't have to be decorated because quite if you're using pretty papers, sometimes you don't even want to put anything on them. And this one I'm going to put the tab on. I think I'll put the tab on this side because there's no reason why that couldn't go in a pocket somewhere or in a belly band and have the tab on that side. And I do like these book ones, although I think that one might blend in too much. You'd think I have all day, wouldn't you? You really would. That one will stand out. So that's going to go that way. Sometimes it's nice to do a tab with just an even book page. That one's going to be that way. And then this one too. See, this one doesn't need much, I don't think. Put my tab down there. Sometimes, yeah, you can even do book page tabs if you want to. They're pretty sometimes. I wouldn't do it on that one there because it's I've got book page there, but um, I would on other ones. I've done it. And I'm going to put this tab down here because I don't want to cover up the flower. I've already got the flower there. And so to me, that is done. And I think I might use... It might blend in too much, actually. Might use that one again. Yeah, let's not be too fussy. Oh, you could put, actually, you could put, like, a fabric tab if you wanted to. I've taken them in the other room, but those ones are too big, so I wouldn't put those ones on. But, you know, something like that could even go on there. That one's big. Yeah. You could staple, like you could have a piece of fabric and then like fold it over and staple it too. That's another nice thing to do. I never do that. Or stitch it if you don't like stapling. Glue and then stitch. Okay, so that's that. So we've got two going that way and two going the other way. Right. Now, let's just grab a few things for embellishments. Just in case. Now this one I feel like needs something. And I already like that. There you go. That just fell into my hands. I love it when it just falls into your hands. And you're just like, yep, that's it. So I was thinking, you know, these could be, you could even have another narrower a bit. And you could do a trifold. A trifold would be good. I'm going to put that there. You could put a little pocket in here. You can do anything that you like. There's any kind of a variation is going to work in this. See, I quite like that. Do I want to put that there? Yes, why not? No point in cutting it out if you're not going to use it. You're going to hoard it. Thinking there might be a better spot. Well, what do they say? No time like the present? There we go. And then it might just hang around for months and months because I never find another home for it. So one down, 
what fun i had so much fun doing this i hope you guys did too now i also would like the idea of doing a running stitch down there or you could do crosses down there but i've got the glue is quite wet so i'm going to let that dry and then i might do that so we won't include that in the in the time frame um, this one's pretty good this one doesn't need too much but what it could have well it could have a little something like that would be really pretty actually that could be really pretty or otherwise i was just thinking no, i don't want to i don't want a label i don't it doesn't really call for a label i don't think but i do like the rose or i could just leave it or i could put one of my labels they're more old worldly um some of them not all of them if i've got them because i need to print them out and i've been saying that for about a year now because then i found a few more and so then i didn't go and print them out because i found that i had a few more like i was thinking more like that would be nice on there i might put that one or i've got the green one already cut put the green one on there no i like the blue so i think i'll put the blue one on cut that out why not And put it there. Yes, I think I like that. Whoops. Or it could have nothing. I mean, that's up to whatever. But I'm putting this. Oh, look at that. I've got book page on there. Put it on the glue. bit sticky but that'll dry and then that I don't think needs anything and that's inside so oh that's that one that they're the done ones and then this one and here okay no I quite like that let's see what else we have this one I like the colors in that Mm -hmm. Oh, what about a bird? We haven't used any birds, have we? Just flowers. So I really like these. Oh, I like that there. Okay, so a bird. I've got some little birds. Oh love that bird i have to chop his tail off that's the only thing i know some of you ladies don't like that i don't mind that bird do i have any smaller versions of that bird i don't know no i really like the first bird so i'm going to have to just snip off the bit of tail got a bunny in there just trying to see if I had a smaller printout of that same bird and then that would fit. But then it might be too small, you see. There's the same bird. Oh, well, that one lost its foot. Oh, no, that's a different bird. I was going to say the foot's tucked up. There's a smaller one. But I think I like the bigger one. Wouldn't that be right? I like the bigger one. It's a better size. I'm going to put that one on there. So I'm going to cut the towel off like it's tucked under the fabric. Pretend like it's tucked under the fabric. That's what you have to pretend. I don't want to glue on that page anymore because it, it's it's ripping off onto the image. Oh my goodness! And if you saw what I just did, so typical. I'm going to have to have, have we're going to have a jigness a jigness a jigsaw puzzle a jigsaw puzzle. Put that there. Put that there. Put that. Sticky fingers there and that needs to go up there and there you go you know you'll never know and you'll never know the tail's gone because it looks like it's tucked under there and then what does it need what does it need it needs one of these oh and i like that 
So these these could also have like little transparent pockets in there, couldn't they? And it could be like a little ephemera thing. Could hold your labels in there, Sherry. That one that one's for you. You could make one into a label holder. How about that? A label holder. So you would just get um, vellum or whatever and just glue them across and then have them as pockets. So I like that. And on the back, well, we could have something on the back, couldn't we? But I don't know. Yes, let's make it a birdie affair. It's going to be a birdie one. Do you prefer that one? No, I think I prefer this one. Okay, so we'll glue that one on. I won't put a label on the back. I'm just going to put the bird there. So really, once you've got your collage um, masterboard background, the work is really done, isn't it? You just have to put a focal point on, and there it is. I love that. And you could do, what about like if you did a little bit of a stamping inside, stamp something. Uh, let's do an example. I've got, I don't want blue. I've got stays on stone grey, and I might take, what will I put in there? Um, I was thinking a bird. Like, I don't really have time to be mucking around like this, do I? I'm trying to see my makey stamps. Um, I wanted a bird. Three minis. Gosh, time flies. Oh, here we go. I think I've got a bird in here. That's what I was looking for, that one. So I could get this one. Probably wouldn't stamp it on that page unless on the inside because then you have it like kind of half in, half out, if you know what I mean. But I could put it here. There's plenty of space to write. Hopefully I'll put it down straight. Oh, I made a mess there. And it's crooked. Oh, well. Ho-hum. You Well, you know what I would do? Put a little piece of paper there like just tear this and pretend like it was meant to be something like oh I'll just do that I like that actually see sometimes a mistake can bring you to something that you like that you hadn't you know you had did it because you had to but you hadn't thought of it okay well that's all right cute and then we'll do this one So hopefully I don't have trouble uploading this video because the last two days, um, fortunately I was able to upload the other one separated, only just the other day. And then yesterday's, Steph took him a really long time to get it off my phone into the into the computer and, um, and then I was able to upload it from the computer. It was very annoying and um, someone else said they've been having trouble with it as well. So I'm hoping that I will be able to do it today. I really quite like that. Yes, that's a jovial colour, isn't it? I think I'll put that one there. I need to do some more fussy cutting, I think. I don't have anything to fuss. Oh, well, I have books. I could do some fussy cutting from my books. Like that, there we go. Oh, I might slide it over. I didn't, just so it sticks on the paper, not on the fabric, because I used just the regular glue. So there we go. I finished before my time. Well, put these away. It is nice to have, just have them all in there cut. Okay, and then we just, let me just see if maybe I could, or maybe I'll stamp something in there. No, that's too big. That's very big. I'd like to do that one, but it's very big. Maybe I'll do that one. There, there. Or maybe I'll put, I love this. This is like one of my favourites. I just love it. I really do. I have to be honest. I love it. Very, very bodgy thing to do on top of your piece that you just drop your ink thing and, and make a mess everywhere. 
might even just do it near my crease for something different. Okay. Yeah. Love that. Okay, so that's that one. I think these are super fun. Let me know if you have fun. Let me know if I'm not looking at the camera in the direction of the camera. Just let me know if you have fun making them. And the thing I love about them, and I'll say it again, is this is very... There we go. Um, this is very thin here. So it's not going to bulk up. It's not bulky at all. It's really fun. So as I said, you can put pockets on, transparent pockets. You can make them little ephemera holders, put little transparent pockets on there inside. Um, and I think these are fun to slip it under a belly band or into a pocket. But I think they're nice under a belly band. Or you could even, um, you know, paper clip them over the edge of a page too. That could be good. And then there's this one as well. Did I open that one? I don't think I did. Open that one. There was where my boo-boo was. Boo-boos are good. Boo-boos are good. So that one would go that way, necessary, possibly, because I've got the tab there. But you can see the tab there as well. I like that. And then this is the other one. I really like this idea. This idea needs to be remembered. I hope I don't forget. So there you have it. So that is my Roxy's Reekly Challenge. And look at my gluey fingers, things stuck to them. Um, and so, yeah, making these, you make yourself a little master board. I'll recap quickly, making a little master board with the pages going horizontally, not vertically like that. Normally we lay them next to each other like this. And this time we're doing it like that. Cut them down into tags. One's wider and one's narrower. Of course you can have them. You can have them the same width if you want to, but I just like the look of them being a different width. I like that. And you can, you know, do your wider one on the front or the back, whichever way you prefer. And, yeah, put a tab on them and then, and then decorate them. So there you have it. What fun. Fun, fun, fun. So thank you for watching and have a great day and happy crafting. And I will see you tomorrow, I think. Hopefully the day goes well. And, and if I see, if I if the day goes well, I will be back. And hopefully I can upload this video. So thank you for watching and see you again soon. Bye.